Hi everyone, Cyrus for iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm showing you Master Reader. Master Reader is a pretty awesome RSS feed client for iPad and it's compatible with a lot of good Google Reader alternatives now. Google Reader is dead, so you have Feedly, BQ Reader, I'm shortening the name because I cannot pronounce that name, Feedbin, FeedHQ, Feed Wrangler and Fever. Fever is the one that you actually have to install in your own server and um, it's pretty easy to install but you just need to have your own server and a hosting account and things like that but it's actually pretty decent. Now this is compatible with all those so right now I've added my own BQ account. It's very simple. You can change the settings, add more th themes if you like. You can change synchronization options now I'm going to put a video together maybe showing you all the options but I'm just going to go through this quickly so you can customize different settings, how your articles are shown, how things look like as you can see, you can change article view options. Services that are supported, a lot of them to name here, Google+, Facebook, Evernote, Tumblr, you name it. You can add, add browsers, you can have other applications, mail action. What's neat about this application is a lot of us, I'm talking about maybe myself only, I haven't found the perfect replacement to Google Reader yet. I've tried the old reader, I've tried FeedHQ, I've tried BQ reader, Feedly, which is very tragic what's happened to it. Now I'm sure it's going to improve, but uh, the launch, it had, since Google Reader has gone away, I haven't been able to use Feedly like I thought I could. I mean, at first it looked very good, but it has issues. Dig reader, I don't know about that. It's, those, it's a lot of expectation to have for some team, a small team like the, the Dick team to have come up with a Google Reader clone and have it have everything there. So all of these different services have issues. So for instance, when I have to search stories for our website, I use the old reader. When I have to read the stories, I use the BQ reader. And having being able to add multiple accounts is very important. You can what you can do and with this application is you can actually add new accounts. So you tap on your account name and then you add this plus sign and then you can add these different accounts and you can switch between them so that's that's a neat part now Google Reader has obviously gone away so you can't you you're not gonna be able to use that also I've talked to the developer for the BQ Baz something you can pronounce it if you know the pronunciation please leave it in the comment section I've been trying to get the right one and I asked the, uh, Vladimir who seems to be the guy behind the service and he I don't know if he he never told me so maybe he thought it was it wasn't a serious question or I haven't seen anyone pronounce it online so if you know you leave it below in the comment section but what I was going to say was they are going to add more features to this app that's what I was told that you'll be able to reorder it's because not all services allow you to reorder your folders so that that's going to be a big issue for instance I have 20 30 40 folders I don't know and not being able to reorder that for some services and having that option for others it's a little bit annoying so they're going to add those in the future but to summarize what this application offers multiple accounts just tap add your account there you get multiple services I showed you, Facebook, Google+. All the action happens in the settings. So you can change themes, you can change the synchronization options there. You can even subscribe, check your subscriptions to see if there are issues. For instance, it says which ones are valid, invalid, outdated. That's very important to know. I have actually a bunch of invalid ones myself because the sites were active. They moved away from FeedBurner. Let's face it, Google is going to kill FeedBurner quickly too. And uh, Actually, we are looking to switch from that as well. So if you have any suggestions for that, I'd like to know. Other than that, you get four themes. 
complete control over how your articles are shown and sounds, services, a lot of good stuff. What I do say about this application, one of the issues is because I was testing all the features to see what the app offers before doing the review for you guys, I did encounter a bunch of crashes. So that's a little bit disappointing, but I, I, I was trying to push the app hard to see if there are issues. So it's not like if you open the app, it's gonna crash. As you can see, I've been using it. It looks fine. You see all these different views. You can share, you can tag, you can star. You also have the options right there. You can get, get it on with a swipe. You can play around with these, changing f fonts, spacing, things like that. It's really up to you. I it, These are not really important as to me as far as when I'm using a feed reader. I want to be able to connect as many accounts as possible from different services. As long as it syncs fine, it's okay with me. As long as the layout is fine, as long as it doesn't crash. So those are the Im most important ones. Obviously having the option to change font size, things like that, that's, those are also important to some folks. But that's, that's, about, that's a short summary, I think, for Mr. Reader. I hope you enjoyed it. It's available for, iP for the iPad. This is version 2.0.1. And I look forward to see what these guys are going to come up with in the near future. If you have any suggestions, better apps you found, please leave in the comment section. For more information, please go to iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Thanks very much for watching, guys.